College Commitment Ceremony Day continues at J.R. Tucker High School. With me now is Jacob Wooten. He is going to become a familiar face, oh, about 12 miles north of here, uh, as he is going to go play football for Pedro Aruza and the Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets. Jacob, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk first about Tucker, and then we'll look ahead to Randolph-Macon. Um, your coach had high praise for you at, at this ceremony this afternoon about work ethic uh, and your performance, but work ethic comes before performance can come. Um, what has been key in terms of your success here at, at, at Tiger Nation to give you a chance to go to the next level? Well, as a freshman, I was small, and I knew I needed to work hard to get big. Mm -hmm. So every day I was in the weight room, working on my speed, working on my strength, and all three years I've been doing that, and I've got to where I am now, and that's all I need to do in college to succeed. When, when you do that, tell us a little bit about how the body changes and how you have to make adjustments when you're playing, because you obviously had to play a little differently your senior year than you did, say, your sophomore year, because you grew, you changed. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't really change. It's it a little easier, because you get faster. You get, strength helps you, squatting and benching helps you power cleaning, all that helps you become stronger, faster, and you can hit a lot harder. And uh, it all comes with hard work. It doesn't just come to you. And it's got to help your endurance as well. The fourth quarter this year had to be easier than a few years ago. No. No, not really? <laughs> On the field all the time this year, so <laughs> never came off. It's wheezing. Two-way two players, that's that's hard to do. That is so hard to do. Well, you won't have to worry about that come Randolph-Macon. Uh, tell me about the decision to go to, to RMC. Um, uh, were, were there any other schools in the mix? And why did you ultimately choose to go to Ashland? Well, there were a couple D3 schools that were interested in me. And uh, at the time, I was really interested in them. But they didn't uh, show much interest at one point. So i have gone to their CNU and I was really interested over there. Right. And at last minute, Coach Russo called me and said, hey, you should come for an overnight visit. And after that visit, I knew that was my home. Wow. So comfortable. It's a, the comfortability. What do you think about Coach Aruza and the staff? Oh, he's a great guy. And I know he'll build me to be a man off the field, too. And that's what I really like about him. He's a great guy. Uh, definitely emphasizes a hard work ethic and being responsible. There, you will, you will come out changed after four years at Randolph Macon under uh, under Coach Aruza. Yes, of that, we can attest to firsthand. That's for sure. Um, any idea what you may be playing, what you might be doing there at Randolph Macon? Uh, they told me linebacker and defensive end, which mm -hmm. I'm fine playing any position because I love football. So. Wherever they put you on the field's fine by you. Um, academics, have you made a decision as to what you're looking to do, or still still deciding? I'm really interested in criminal justice. They don't have a strong major in it, but I can take a little class and I can become whatever I want to in the criminal justice field. Fantastic. Jacob, we're looking forward to watching you at Day Field over the next four years, uh, growing, maturing, and learning under Coach Pedro Aruza and the Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. But first, congratulations on your career here at J.R. Tucker. Thank you very much. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.